idea to the show for when do you blow, with what can you blow. That, that's the, now the next few missions are going to be discussing. The lips around the grave and out, around their lips, the atmosphere changes around the grave and that atmosphere can change slowly, bit by bit, the whole world and speed up the bringing of the Mashiach. If you combine that with the idea that on a yard side of a Sadiq, we need to learn some serious rubber shop tomorrow. Uh, well, uh, one of my bikes is struggling. Something happens, and you are ah! I found it. There it is. The punishment that I was due. I, I was high of the punishment. Now I got it. See, I told you. Finish. And instead of looking to find the good in the thing, you are automatically designated as bad, and it's evil because you didn't avert. But don't base it on that. Hashem doesn't give anything bad. Nothing bad comes from Shemayim to finish a puzzle. Nothing bad. So, and if we start to look in all the things that appear to be bad and we change our, our mindset and we're looking at it according to what society tells us to look at it, then we'd start to be happy in everything that we did. And then our happiness would not be based on our own achievements. We wouldn't have to say, you know, I'm depressed unless I do something good and then I can be happy. Our happiness would be based on, on always. It'd be a constant happiness. Why? Because Hashem, His eyes are on us constantly. God, I'm going to lift We're standing in front of the King. Hashem loves me no matter what. And then, to answer, that's to answer the first question. How are you not going to judge other people? Because you're not that you're, it's not that you're, you're thinking more about yourself. You're letting go of yourself. You're letting go of these ideas that have locked you inside. That I'm happy. Why? Because I'm good looking. Or I'm happy because I can pick up girls. Or I'm happy because I graduated college. Or I'm happy because I have a nice car. Or I'm happy because I, I, I'm in a law firm. Or I'm happy because I have a lot of friends. You're happy. To, or I'm happy because I dive in good. Or I'm happy because you know I, I put fill on ten people. It's not. I'm not saying that it's not right. But I'm saying don't enslave yourself to these things. The, everything, everyone thinks it's beautiful. A relationship with another person is amazing. Uh, uh, having good things is amazing. Having beautiful clothes is amazing. However, once we enslave ourselves to them, that's when the problem comes. Absolutely. I'm saying you're supposed to have a relationship with another person. But don't base your happiness on what, what they think about you. When you're in a relationship with another human being, let's say it's a girl and guy relationship, your happiness should not be based on. I wonder if they still think I'm awesome. It should be based on that. And that's what happens. We, we, we want people to think that we're amazing. Uh, uh. And then if the more they think we're amazing, the happier we feel based on that. Why? Because it's based on an outside source. And I, I remember writing a thing for college. Back when my body gets started. Something happens. And you are like, ah, I found it. There it is. The punishment that I was due. I, I was high of the punishment. Now I got it. I told you. And instead of looking to find the good in the thing, you are automatically designated as bad. And it's evil because you didn't avert. But don't base it on that. Hashem doesn't give anything bad. Nothing bad comes from Shemayim to face your puzzle. Nothing bad. So, and if we start to look in all the things that appear to be bad and we change our, our mindset and we're looking at it according to what society tells us to look at it, then we start to be happy in everything that we did. And then our happiness would not be based on our own achievements. We wouldn't have to say, you know, I'm depressed unless I do something good and then I can be happy. Our happiness would be based on, on always. It would be a constant happiness. Why? Because Hashem, His eyes are on us constantly. God, I'm going to lift my mouth when I'm standing in front of the King. Hashem loves me no matter what.